Welcome back everyone. I thought we could have a little bit of fun now that we've beaten the major quest line. I would like to conquer maybe a bit more of Lustria or we could go after Ulthuan. I've got a few options around me. Whenever the final version comes out for me, I'll do the quest battle over here too. That way we can finally have that done. All right, Luther, I'm gonna let you heal up for a turn or two. Mad Dog Marty, it's about time for a new war, I think. I would like to destroy Teclas. I mean, he ended up taking over. I have no idea how it worked out. I mean, one little army came over, took one town. Then everything changed when the fired Teclas attacked. He took over all of that. Dear God, man. Okay. Well, I'm going to get ready to go find all of them. Yeah, sure. You can have your new upgrade. I want you to be able to recruit new units if you're able to. And uh, there you go, buddy. Trusty Montford. What about you, pal? You want to come on down? Yeah. Level nine. Not bad. I could go after Itza first. I feel like I should. They don't have a lot of towns and it would be easy for me to beat them. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. So we'll probably move over there. What about you, Luther? You'll begin to move down too. I'm going to get him to help me out. All right, I've got some money, don't I? Yeah, here we go. Tier five. More income from every other building. How good is that stuff, huh? Let's go look up here real quick. My public order is okay. I don't need to worry about any other building like that. What type of new building do I want though? That's a really good question. I do not have a fell hollows. I'll take that. Yeah, I haven't really used bats. I'll probably use them more in the future, but you've got so many choices here. It's in a turn again. I feel like I should begin a battle with a army of just freaking bloated corpses. I feel like that would be comical and it would actually weaken my foes. Imagine I mean, it would take a bit of work. Imagine if I began my wars by sending out that type of army to weaken my foes. I feel like that would be an actual tangible way to approach major siege battles. You could just be like, hey, eat my fat, explodey friends. They had a chimichanga and it's not really going well for them. They're feeling uh, gassy. Yeah, it's been a very unique campaign though. Diplomatically, I don't know why certain factions are so fond of me but they ended up becoming fond of me well to be fair no I am fighting major enemies of theirs so that is part of it I like it a lot oh look who came to fight me never mind okay I guess I can't go after each I've got to go fight Teclas the war begins supplies adrift okay I'm gonna buff up all of my infantry epilogue here we go oh that's really cool so I did it in my turn now, we actually have a continuation of our previous victory. It was done. The Murworm was slain by the empowered Star Metal Harpoon, a testament to the monster killing lineage of the Wolf Hearts. Now the beast was resurrected and enthralled to Harkin. The Vampire Coast would expand and Luther would be a force in a wider world once more. This was no mere idle boast, for his mind had finally begun to align. The choir in his head would still bicker and rage on occasion, but were held in awe to a new voice. One had spoke with the wisdom of eons, as if it were older than Harkin even. It promised to guide Luther and bring about an undead empire to dwarf the current pretenders, especially the petty va uh, vassal fiefdom of the Von Karsteins. And when all that was achieved, the voice swore Harkin would be worthy of the greatest prize, to be at the right hand of the new death god, to be a Mortark. Luther Harkin will not be on the periphery when the end times come. Okay. The Murworm has been slain. Now he will only attack my enemies and we are immune to his storms. It would be cool if we could like summon him in. That'd be even better. But for what it is, he can no longer bother me. Though if it's random, hmm, that could be interesting. There's a bit of treasure. Ooh, look at her. She's got a big army. Let's go look at what I want right now. Nothing really. I'm okay on public order and other parts too. If you want to fight me at sea, please do so. I would love for you to do that right now, in fact. Come on down. It's a lot of ranged units. I'm going to lose a lot whenever I fight them. Come on down. I'm going to bring you down too. You'll come down over here. You're still trying to replenish. I'm going to use you in the greater war. It's going to be fun. What am I going to give you though? You've got a lot of uh, death guard. 
I feel like I should give you something else too. Another rotting leviathan. That would be delightful, wouldn't it? I think that would be a lot of fun. Now I want my banshees back, man. Give me my banshees. I'm gonna actually have another army pop up eventually whenever I have the money for it. Ooh, shouldn't take too long, I think. Let's go look around. So now our goal is to destroy a few major enemies of mine that I have not destroyed, like Teclas. I mean, I've got newfound power. I might as well destroy them. Come on down here now. Ooh, a human faction still alive. Look at that. They're holding on. All right, time for me to end my turn now. Another day, another killing. Lutheran is fighting me too. They hate me a lot, which is understandable. Eventually, they'll probably confederate whenever I beat the shit out of one of them. Yeah, look at how Lustria is currently divided. We've got the Blue Vipers, me, Itza, Teclis. We've got the Dwarves too. And a portion belonging to the Tomb Kings, or the Tomb Queen, Halida. I can't wait to play as the ladies too. Our Nessa Salt Spite has an incredible move set. And it's really cool that CA is now making like their own leaders. I hope that we'll see more of that. I really wouldn't mind that, man. I used to be like such a stickler for lore, but now I'm like, eh, use it. In the grand scheme of it all, the lore was kind of there to flesh out the models for Games Workshop, but now that they're kind of doing their own thing, I feel like if another company wants to kind of create their own stuff, all right, whatever. Trust me, it took me years to get here. Over 10 years. <laughs> now I'm like, okay. All right. That'll work. I checked the bloody. I've already beaten you. A lot. All right, so I really want to kill you. Let's figure out where I'm going, though. I want to go over here, I think. Let's be careful. She could come out into the field to attack me. If she does, she's not going to make it. I think I want to train him up real quick. A minor fight. I did lose a lot, though, so we're going to take replenishment. Because I'm able to get a lot. Okay, well, not a lot of money, but I'm going to make more money for a bit and to get more growth. Not that I really need it right now. All right, you're going to come back for a little bit because she's going to come after you. So come back over here. Level 12. Not bad, Mad Dog Marty. I wanted him to get to level 12. I'm going to give him a Rotting Promethean now to ride upon. Wait, hold on. Actually, we're nearly there. We should probably go take Jolly Roger. And over here for Sam Jenkins. Blunderbuss. He no longer has a ranged penalty. I can't wait to find out what that's going to be all about. But no, after our look here, Felhar campaign, we'll do another vote. And I might use mods for it. I'm not too sure yet. I haven't really decided. But I've got a few options on how we're going to approach it. Okay, do I want another agent? What agent would I even want? We could go down that route, sure. Yeah. I wouldn't mind having a few recruitment areas close by. I mean, everyone has a ship, but I'm not trying to upgrade their abilities for recruitment. To upgrade their campaign abilities. Here you go. Enjoy. Master Strike. If you're anything like Creepy Carry, mother of God, it's going to be terrifying. Okay, so over here, what are we looking at now? We've got Windy Sea Legs. She's level 15 now. She's very powerful. I'm going to give her Deception. She's got eight more melee attack. That's a lot. I don't have all the money in the world. Let me go look at things real quick. We do have a lot of buffs. Well, that's good. It's time for her to come back home, though. Yeah. I'm going to bring her back home. It's time. She can go after the High Elves if she wants to put in more coves. I could even have her come over here. I don't think there's too many. Yeah, there's not too many. Oh, yeah. Look at all the corruption. It's really good. If I joined in, there would already be a lot of corruption. All right. You leveled up. What am I going to give you now? Kidnapping? Deception? I mean, again... I'm not going to really use you in an army. Take that for fun. I was going to, but then I changed my mind. I mean, who knows? I might change my mind again. That's allowed. Okay, so we know what's happening over here now. That's why I love 
the Southlands in the Vortex campaign. I actually can't wait to play over here because we've got two completely different areas. You've got down here a bunch of jungle, it's quite lively. Then up here, it's crazy fucking desert. A bunch of Tomb Kings are fighting and rampaging. It's why if we just had like the little dwarven area, I think it would be like fully fleshed out. Then in my view, ha having just like one expedition pop out from the old world factions who are left, like Bretonio or the Empire, I think that would be really cool. That would like, to me, allow the old world to come into the vortex. But I have no no idea what they'll do with all of that because I mean that's really all that we're missing is the old world. But Norska to me is like one of the most least interesting locations I actually actively fight in. So I don't really mind when we're missing out there. All right, so I don't have like all the powerful stuff that I normally would like to throw into the fray. I have a feeling it's going to be a fairly tough fight. Let's pull back a little bit because I want to pull back. If she pushes in to fight, oh, is she? No, really? Okay. That army could be challenging. I feel like I don't have the proper format to beat that army. I don't have like any major unit to kind of bounce out his army. I have money now, so I might actually go give him a Necrofex. We could recruit one for him. That would be really good. That would change things up just a little bit, especially because they do have a lot of dirty, dirty ranged units. And whenever they're stationary, I have a nice advantage. The Mara Worm. Are you losing things? Is that what you're doing? Ah, shuck. But you want to lose things. All right, so we're going to bring down. Oh my God. Yeah, look at all these armies. We got to get ready. All right, so I'm going to have Buddy Boy come on down quickly. Mad Dog Marty, you're going to wait there for right now. So actually, we're going to wait until we get all of our armies together. I had no idea Teclis was going to dance with me a bit. We're not fighting at sea right now. I want to fight at sea. Depends. Can you reach him? You can't quite reach him, can you? No, you can't. Shoot. And I don't control that land directly, or I could use my mist. I don't think it applies to the water, though. All right, Creepy Carry, let's give you Wild Eyed. He's like, yep, I already have those, buddy. Beautiful eyes that you can gaze into. The eyes are creepy, carry. <laughs> Gotta get more higher leveled leaders, I think. I think that'll work out quite nicely. Let me go look over here real quick. 10% income from all buildings. Hmm. Interesting. Master. Let me go look at what we have here. Firestarter. Instigator. Kind of the same. Vinny. Any to starved. Cat butters. I just love your name. I don't know what you're buttering, but it sounds great. Alright. I'm going to give you some of your abilities down here now. There you go. Then, let's have a bit of a look. My income really shot down, didn't it? But look at that, I now have an office slot available. Cat Butters, where am I going to put you? Let's go look at her quick. All armies faction wide, plus 10 to leadership. All right, we're at 1192. Now look at my income. So I suppose what I can do, I can just begin to recruit lords, then drop them in. Like that. You know, I never really considered doing that, but it's a great way to kind of fill out my offices. Yeah, I suppose we could do that, huh? All right, I'm going to go grab an infamous admiral. Just for the hell of it. Got to aim for it. I don't know why that never dawned on me. I don't pay the upkeep costs then. Kind of a weird system when you think about it. You might as well just like put in someone. But I suppose like it keeps you from being able to do that early on where those benefits would be insane. And you don't always have the gold to spin like that. I do. I have the gold to spin like that. It's pretty good stuff, man. So now we're just waiting for a new turn where I'm going to probably kill a lot of high elves. I mean, again, we're just kind of prepping out for the big war. I usually like to fight wars on my own terms. Oh, you took over Al Haik. The Tim Kings are finally winning over in the Southlands. Now, there's a few proper Vortex campaigns I want to play. Because we have primary antagonists that I want to engage with. Oh, Bones MacDonald. The coward takes over. Don't worry, my friend. Pretty soon, I'll be able to unite your mind. You crazy son of a gun. Oh, Bones. Come on out, buddy. 
Gotta go find O Bones. There we go. Inspiring Vigor. We can use him later too if we want to. Alright. I'm gonna put O Bones over into. He's gonna be my. Let's have a look. That would be good. I want more money. Fleet Beast Master. That'll work out. I like it. We'll put him there. Research available. Okay. I was nearly done with one of them. Where is it at? Oh, that one wasn't. Looks like it. What else was I going after? Had like two turns left or something like that. Ooh, that's more damage. What's over here? More missile damage. Maintain cannons. More ammo for my artillery. That's even more damage. I mean, that's more damage than anything else, too. Death Guard, Marines Upkeep. Ooh, that would allow me to potentially get a new army. I mean, I'm getting close to it. I'm like not there yet, but I'm getting close to it. Considering how little land I own, right? But this feels like a good time to pivot into like a type of domination campaign. Maybe not like full domination. It really depends on like what all of you want to see, but it's an idea anyway. Because turns in so quickly, I can, I can actually just do what I want. Oh, hello. Easy enough. I'm going to replenish. I've gained 6,000 more gold and a Berserker Sword. We want to make sure that everyone has their loot. And Luther can still move on. Look at that. Luther's really terrifying. That's why I wanted him to attack first because I knew that he would be absolutely terrifying. Then later we might even fight some other enemies. Okay, tier 5, finally. The upkeep goes down even further for all units. That's what we want right now. I'm going to minimize all that upkeep and we're going to have you go out to treasure and potentially clear out other pirates too. It's a great way to kind of really supplement my income. Alright, you can move further and we gained 1500 gold. Any treasure for you? No. She'll guard there momentarily. Oh yeah, look at that up north. Teclis is everywhere. The Bloodhawk is actually one of my favorite locations. I had a lot of really iconic titles and names for my high elf campaign uh, campaign for Teclis. It was actually really freaking cool. I'll take that real quick. The Blood Sentinel and just a bunch of things like that that were based on like regional locations. Even though it wasn't like one of my more watched campaigns or popular ones, I really enjoyed it a lot. It was unconventional and very strange and I had to go back and forth. But that is when I was trying to play the Vortex how it was designed to be played, which is, you know, you do each part. But my strategy, I think, is much more interesting. And it's one that like we've all learned, right? Where you don't have to worry about racing for it. That was heavily implied. <laughs> no, no, no. That was like stated exactly like, hey, you need to race or you'll lose. But what we found out was no, no, they weren't going to do that. And I think there would be backlash if that was the case. Like, Realm Divide in Shogun 2 wasn't really popular. But to be fair, like, that was only because you would have long time allies betray you or whoever. It was really weird. Because, I mean, you could have had people that were allies with you for like 50 years, then Realm Divide. Oh, by the way, they hate you. Not to mention, because it's an island, people could just like sail all over and land in the middle of your land. <laughs> Well, I'm not fighting you right now. Ridiculous. Luther is coming to fight you, though. How exciting is our battle about to be? Luther Harkin is so fucking strong. He's about to go murder everyone. He's not even fully united yet, so we haven't even seen him in his final form. He's not even there yet in the final form. Okay, let's go over here now and get ready. So you've got your own agent. Understood. I'm going to come down here. Trusty Monfort's ready. Now I get to strike. We've got other locations to conquer. There's a few that I'm going to burn down. Chupa Yotl shall be mine. <laughs> anyway, just sounds like I need a throat lozenge. I'll work on it. Let me look at my money real quick. Tier 5? Yeah, I'll take it. Oh my god. You got Laxlin? Shit. Well, I'm going to have to go over there eventually. Yeah, that's going to be fun. Maggie Blackcell, come on over. Well, I don't have to actually wait. You know what I have. So we're going to use our artillery extensively in the very beginning. We're fighting one of their larger armies, and I'm about to wipe them out. It's actually kind of cool. Now, see, I don't mind fighting like a later game type of stage of a campaign for Total War whenever the turns end quickly. It's just whenever they don't end quickly, you're like, uh, moan.
Melwin. That was like a very uh, Tolkien-esque name. All right, so let's go look at it real quick. So like, I don't understand it when some people advocate for potentially like stretching out your army all over here because it doesn't make sense to me. If I had more than one army, I would totally do that and charge in even though the losses would be greater, but you have minimal numbers. I mean, I'm looking at a siege battle where I have less than 1,000. So I attack one portion of the wall. Attack with all of your force in one location. I mean, you know, we can bring up some Sun Tzu stuff, but that would be it. They can't protect everywhere, sure. But where I can focus all of my force, I can really bring them down. I can destroy their walls. I mean, you would do it in, med in Medieval 2 as well. They would have a gigantic castle, and you wouldn't attack from every direction. You would pick one because you only had so many men. Okay. Let's now get ready. We've got a mortar over here. Queen Bess over here. Necrofexes will go after them. Luther and all of you will be on the front lines to take any damage. And we're going to get ready to send in all of my infantry. We're just going to break down their walls. We're going to do a lot to them. It's going to be a really nasty fight. Sirenes, I kind of want you up here. Take any damage to send into my death guard. And I think that will largely handle my units. Okay. We begin. I could use my sword of cane early on. That would get a lot of kills. Okay, Luther's going to go out and play. Time for me to use some of my ballistic skills. Hold on, let's move a little bit closer. That's why I wanted them kind of grouped up. There we go. Everyone's buffed up. Please do not go into berserk mode or whatever. Come over here. We can use you later. I've got abilities to use back here too. Let's go after some silver helms. And we'll use our carinate ability to shoot some white lions. I've got all these fun abilities. I wanted to be able to use them. Ooh, hi there. How do you do? Okay, so I'm going to use my sword, not on you, I'm going to use a breath attack on you instead. Alright, Mortars and Queen Bess, are you done? Nope. We're about to wipe out that one tower. Are they hitting anyone back here? I don't think they are. Alright, that's one gone. Got to the other tower. Let's go in and fight for a minute. Very well. Very well. So now we're going to try to fight. If they have anyone charge over, then I'm going to have to move, right? That's just going to be the case here. But here's a Sword of Cain. Enjoy. I mean, the dude's got the Sword of Cain. You have to imagine he's a apocalyptic power still. The Mer Worm doesn't really give me, like, untold power, but at least I can uh, do what I'm doing here. All right, now we're getting out. We did a lot of damage. I'm still trying to get that one tower. We nearly have it, I believe. Do we? Yep, we nearly have it. All right, what about you, Mortar and Queen Bess? Come over here to attack. You got it. We can go after them. You can use your ability to give Queen Best more ammunition. Oh, yeah? Is that what you're hitting? That's cute. That's cute. Okay, that's another one gone. So we want to break down a part of their wall. That's really like what I'm trying to do here right now. See, I'm trying to break down a part of their wall. I've got more abilities to use. I'm going to to hit what they have back here too. To try to hit more of their infantry. Or whoever really. Go hit them. More reload skill for everyone. Fire a bit faster. For more of a breath attack, we're gonna use it. I'll try to use it on like a singular target. We'll see how that plays out. I thought we would kill a lot more of them already. They're holding up. I'm kinda proud of them, I guess. Here's a hand made enough to Everqueen. She's got to go. Breath attack time. Yeah, that was pretty good. Let's try to charge in and kill her if we can. Anything? Not really. Not a lot. I'm going to use my sea shanty. I only have one use. There we go. I'm going to use my artillery to target those who might attack me. She's already breaking. 
I'm not going to do every siege like this because we do have other armies who are not nearly as powerful. I just wanted to open up with a very powerful battle using the full extent of my own power. With a lot of artillery. Wait, he's blocking you. No one should be blocking you. You should be okay to attack whoever. Okay, that's only one wall breached. Let's go after another wall. Or even the front gate would be fine too. Even the front gate would be fine. Alright, let's go after her in the middle. If you want to try to hit him, try to. He's way too strong to worry about any of you. Oh, wait, before we do that. It is time for another breath attack. And time for another carronade. And time for another ability over here. Actually, we'll use that first. My bad. Alright, let's wait for them to kind of get together. I want to kill more of them. Go in, buddy. That handmaiden's having a really bad day. That artillery is giving them a really bad day, too. A lot to think about, huh? Alright, I should have break this part of the wall. If we could do that while they're all busy, imagine. They would all fall apart, huh? We nearly have their front gate. It's about time for me to actually go in to fight. Necrofaxes, are you done? They did a lot of damage. They were able to break down the walls. I like the idea of like just mobile artillery platforms being able to break down walls. We did it though. There's a Lord Master. Slow them down. It's about time for me to move into battle, right? You hit what you can. Queen Bess attack over here. Mortar, you can attack over here too. They've got the Phoenix Guard on top. Very scary. Look at him. He's got 104 kills now. He's taking a lot of damage from all of their attacks. All right, so let's begin to move in. We're going to move in over here. It is time. The battle begins. The true battle begins. While we let him go out and distract many of them. I'm going to let my mortars hit over here. The white lines of Krace won't do very well with that. He's just in the middle of it fighting phoenixes. I mean, that should be the actual power of Luther Harkin, right? At the point we're at, it's nearly level 40. He's a god at this point. A god of war. Fighting entire armies on his own. Creepy Carry's another god. We don't talk about Creepy Carry though. Creepy Carry brings fear to everyone. Alright. So I can't use my ability on everything, but I am going to try to destroy more of you. Back here would be great. I would like to do that. I'll save it then. It's a long cooldown. I've already wiped out a lot of you. So let's bring it in. The killer silver helms. Actually, uh, I changed my mind. I'm going to use it over here. We'll come over here to fight. Go fight that Flamesfire Phoenix now. Alright. Sirens, move in. I know you've got your abilities too, buddy. Let's get you over here. Queen Bess, keep on attacking. Go after whoever's on the wall, man. You're doing a great job. I'm going to tire out that Flamesfire Phoenix. Buff him up. Sirens are moving in. Very good. I'm going to have now this Mortar go after the Shadow Warriors. I forgot they had Shadow Warriors. Ooh. Very scary. Okay, I'm going to go use um that on Queen Bess real quick. She needs to get more ammo. All right, the two of you can move in too. Let's go in. We got to go fight, don't we? Time for a good shanty. Luther's out there fighting. Artillery's raking through my lines right now. Creepy carries right in the middle of their formation. We're fighting a very high tier, high elven army. Did you use it on Queen Bess? Yeah, you did not. Yeah, you're trying to get back there. Right, right. Third verse. I was kind of hoping that they would actually sing all three verses. I think that would be cool. Because now we're missing out on the other verses. How unfortunate. All right. Death Guard, let's bring you up. Time for you to come in. Rotting Leviathan, you're going to be over here too. More goals, I know that you're in the middle of it. I got to get Luther Harkin to come out to play. Did you get it yet? There we go. All right, so we're going to use it back here now. We got to go after that Lothan Sea Guard group. Necrofex says you'll come up. Ooh. 
Nice damage, you bunch of idiots. Get away from me. Okay, Luther Harkin, did you win yet? You're nearly there. You're not quite there. You're nearly there, though. It's great. But you're not there. Alright, let's move up, all of you. I know we're losing a lot, but I don't want to lose. Keep on fighting this here. Knock Chariots are not fun. I know you're still fighting over here. Let's go after these range units back here. They're annoying. Actually, go after their leader. She's got to go. She's got to go. It's a... Oh. Not a princess? A prince? Okay, well, go after the prince. They're all beautiful, okay? It's rather ubiquitous. Let's move up, everyone. Creepy carry. You know what to do. Luther, you've got another sword of cane. Ooh. He's right over here. We'll kill all these ranged units. Now they're being obliterated. And they're losing their minds. Great. Exactly what I wanted. Okay, I'll get him to come after that artillery. They've only killed two, but they gotta go. I'm gonna help out my sirens. Necrofex has come in. You're not the best in melee, but I'm gonna use you. Come over here. Let's go after those who are trying to hit me. Actually, why would I get you to use that? Just come in. Let's walk in. Then I'll have you go on the walls. Come over here. We've got more Lutheran Sea Guardsmen. Come over here. Go shoot that Lutheran Sea Guard group. I believe you had that blunderbuss now. So I'm kind, of, I'm kind of curious about it, personally. Luther Harkon alone has killed how many? Nearly 200. All right. Sirens, I want you to actually leave the map. I'm trying to keep you alive for now. My Death Guard are going to take your place. They're going to go in and kill whoever's left. I think they're all done, though. I think we won the battle. In the future, though, I'm going to build, like, siege towers and all that to kind of expedite our attacks. It'll take me, like, four turns or whatever to properly build them. But that'll be a great way for me to uh, get everyone ready. Okay, so we got 200 kills for Luther Harkin. Melwin did his part. Queen Vest got over 400 kills. The Necrofexes were able to disable two towers and break apart, what, one or two parts in a wall? Well, no, one part wall, one part gate. Like a weird siege alcoholic drink. I'd love to have another cove here, but I'm going to take it over, man. I could keep it intact. I'm going to keep it intact right now. Look at how many died. That's a lot of leaders dead in one battle. They lost a lot. Okay, I'm going to build up a wall now. I don't need your deck droppers. Mad Dog Marty's going to move down and help out. No, no, don't go over there. That's Why would you? <laughs> okay, whatever. Trusty Monfort's going to come down to the marks of the old ones in a turn. Tier 3, we got the money for it. Not a lot of money, but a little bit of money. Okay, Luther Harkin, what am I going to give you now, my friend? You don't have too much. I can't give you taunt. That's a good hex, though. Swashbuckler, Scarred Veteran. I wanted to give you Tenacity. We'll see if I can reach it later. But uh, for now, let's give you Scarred Veteran. And I believe the sort of cane will eventually buff up, won't it? That's going to be uh, pretty scary. It's currently thirsting. Yeah, if it changes forms, I hope it becomes more powerful. I believe I get a few issues then, but for now, it's looking pretty good for me. Everyone's very strong. I took over another location. It's in their turn now. I'm going to take over every location he owns. We'll probably go up northwest. I'll probably need to build up another army to go help out. Lothar might even come sell down. At least I've got some good eyeballs on what's going on over there, so maybe I can intercept them before they reach me. I didn't know I would be fighting an all-out war with the High Elves, but it's only logical that I would do that, right? I wonder who won the Vortex. I don't actually know who won the Vortex. Huh. I wonder if there's like a way to find that out. I'd like to know. Someone did. Haven't been seeing any of the beams going on for a while. If Mazumuni won, that would be really funny because he's a minor power now. What if it was Teclis? Oh, no. Oh, hi, a little crap army. Oh, you're level 35. All right, I'm going to upgrade you. Got the money for it. 5,600, that's really good. Let's go look up here. No one's attacking me. Laxalent's right by me, so now you border my northern provinces. How rude. Okay, I'm going to give you 
Gunsight, I want you to have more range. Oh my god, that's going to be a lot of buffs. Yeah, we finally have useful ranged heroes, right? <laughs> I'll take the public. Actually, let's get the corruption going. I want a lot of corruption. Oh, whatever. Just go through it. <laughs> I'll deal with it, man. Oh, <gasps> you're kidding. I lost. The wind will come. That's really funny. The Maelstrom is pretty wild. All right, so now we know to avoid that forever. Whatever. That doesn't really stop my campaign. My campaign moves on. Normally, I would sack and leave, but because we're actually here to stay, I'm not destroying everything. Over here, I will probably end up destroying that, though. That mortuary, just so I don't have to deal with it again. All right, before you build that, can you reach this guy over here? If you can't, no, you can't. Okay, well, then come on down. You've got other locations to beat up on. Yeah, take that. That's going to be a Sartosa Grape Shot. It's even more powerful. Okay, let's go look around. Pirates around me. All around me are pirate faces. Come on, Maggie. Let's go. Actually, I'm going to have you form up a cove over here. I've got one that I need to build up to. I'm going to take the, like, the 200 gold. Ooh. Trusty Monford, what do you want, buddy? Upkeep to go down? Sure do. Your commandment available? That's gonna be for now. More corruption again. They try to move into my lands. They're not gonna be able to move very far. 20% diminishment. That'll allow me to at least like raise dead a new army. Which is like one of the more powerful features of having. Oh, well, actually, I feel even more powerful than the Vampire Counts because we do have ranged units, so whenever they attack my towns... Of course, I haven't really been attacked offensively by other factions that much. I've been able to kind of beat them to the punch. I've played a very dangerous game of diplomacy, but now things are beginning to fall apart. Yeah, I could conquer through Eats and get to the other parts. I might do that instead of, like, settling around. I'll just, like, punch right through. Depends on what they have, though. I might end up fighting other factions on the way just to have them destroyed. They get errand trees now gone. Yeah, Maggie, it might be time to stop um, having you establish pirate coves while the cost is like much higher until I have a lot more gold because the time that it takes for it to pay back takes time, I'm sure. Happy to fulfill your death. You don't want to fight? I mean, that's fine. Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> that's what I get for Okay, I'm not fully healed up. If I lose this battle, that would be comical. I might actually lose this battle. <laughs> they have three steam tanks and I'm not even at full power. Oh, shit. <laughs> Wild card. I found the Charlie Day. Holy shit. That'd be real. It's really Danny DeVito who's the wild card. Actively. He's like one of the major chaos elements for sure. Edifying. Okay, start deployment. So we gotta push in really, really fast. Like, mortars won't fucking matter. I'm gonna have to just like go in. So every infantry unit, you're gonna move up. Every range unit, I'm gonna move you up pretty fast. You two will go in to go kill their leader. And, oh my god, if they're actually, oh, what bad luck for them. They're deploying in the woods. Are you fucking kidding me? That's amazing for me. I mean, I'll take it, dude. I don't mind. We're going to shoot this guy real quick just to do some damage to him. Have you ever been hit by ghost bullets? It's like normal bullets, but stickier. <laughs> All right, let's go. Come on, everyone. Right into the woods we go. And some chaos, we shall sow. Alright, so we're gonna let these two fight. And, oh god, has a few of them out here. <laughs> Shoot them now. Mortis, go get them too. Hit them. Nope, keep on moving in. We, get, we gotta go in now, we gotta go in, I think. 
I've never fought this type of army, so it's actually unconventional for me to the point where I'm like, what the fuck do I do? <laughs> Trying to go into the trees. I'm, I'm trying to like hurt a man. I feel like that's like the primary way that I'm going to get through this real quick. If I hurt all of them, man, we took out their leader. And they're all in the damn trees. My range units are trying their best right now. Just going to form up over here if you want. I'm going to start attacking more of them, but for now, all of you get in. Got to finish off more of these guys. I need a lot more of you to move in. Come on, let's go. I know they've got their technology, but we've got our trees to help out. No, they do have a lot of grenadiers. What a wild army, man. Wild card in me. My own neighborhood. All right, let's go heal up some units. Some more powerful units. The good stuff, you know. All right, so one more group fleeing. There are freaking steam tanks. We want to go after the other units first, probably. Um, let's see here. Let's try to go after some of these outriders. If we can just catch them at the border, we can kill them. Range units, I'm going to have you focus on one steam tank at a time. Death Guard, go over here. How many are we looking at? This grenade launcher is still alive. I'm going to use my mortars to go hit them. Let me go look at each and every unit to make sure that we're all hitting targets. Oh yeah, look at that. We've heard it all like all of them over here to the edge. That's really good. Let's go after all this artillery. Holy shit, dude. Have you ever seen so much artillery? That's a weird one. I feel like I'm fighting a multiplayer battle. Oh no, they're learning. Oh shit. Enrage. Interesting. I like it. I'll take it. Yeah, a lot of you can't hit them outright, and I get that. There's a few issues in the neighborhood, isn't there? Yeah, that's my bloody Reaver crew. I like it. It's very cool. Anyway, did we get them all yet? Oh, no, no. They're at the edge now. Look at that. They're all at the edge. We're going to use our shanty. Hello there, nerds. It's a bunch of engineering nerds, and now we're beating them up. We're here to take their gunpowder money. I need all of you to get into position. We've got to begin shooting together. Yeah, those mortars should be able to take them out, hopefully. We'll see. Come over here. Come on. Let's go. we got to kill more crews. Keep on pushing in. I know it's a weird one, everyone, but we got to do it. Go after their leader, too. I'm going to send um, more Death Guard over here to go fight more of these crews. Yeah, what turned out in my favor was having a bunch of trees. Who knew? Nature wins, man. Save nature. Nature will save you. <laughs> oh shit, we're not doing a lot of damage. All the trees are in the way. Steam tanks are going to be a nightmare to fight, but we'll get them afterwards. Let's just go finish off what they have here. Are you guys doing it? You have anti-large. Hooray. Yeah, they're doing some damage. That's good. We're not very quick, so I really thought we were going to lose that. I thought they were just going to kill us all. But no, no. Okay, we'll go after that steam tank first. You'll attack here. You're going after the leader. Very good. We got like one more crew left. Well, no, we got like a few left. Hold on. Let's go finish off what's left of their crews. And I've got all these gunners over here just trying to shoot this one steam tank. It's very challenging, by the way. Mortars, I don't want you attacking anymore. Bombers, you're done. Okay, you're losing. Well, let me try to help you out real quick. Have some healing magic. If we lose an entire unit, it's okay. We're not going to keep everything. Not today. Alright, let's go after each steam tank. Now that everyone's like beating the flea. I think we're like mostly done. We just need to go after steam tanks now. Which is comical. That's a comical situation for me. All right, let's try to heal up a few characters. Look at our leadership. We can heal up our leadership while we're here. One steam tank gone. Okay, one more to go. 
Old world sucks, man. In comparison, we're better. We're just better. Oh, bye. One heroic victory for me. Trusty Montfort. Montez Marcelli. The College of Pyrotechnics. We beat them. We beat the living. I don't know. Stromboli out of them. Is that what they have? Stromboli. I'll take the replenishment. In case anyone else comes by. That's a heroic victory. Yeah, that wasn't meant to be in my favor. That's hilarious. Alright, so what am I going to give you? Ah, oh, another harpoon launcher. I like that. That's really cool. Replenishment rate goes up. I like that too. But I'm going to give you Top Gallant Royal. Well, I guess before I do that, actually, hold on. Let's go take out our little friend. Get out of here, Montez. No one wants you, Montez. Alright, so now we can get ready to go after another enemy. Depends on if Luther can go hit them. Nope. He's gonna come down. Ooh, we get cannons and Norse Roar. That's gonna be nice. Is he ready though? Yeah, he's ready. He's all healed up. Mad dog, you took too much damage. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Thankfully we could replenish quickly, but that was kinda of funny. Alright, let's go look at what else we want. Bloated corpse. I haven't gotten to use him as much lately, so I'm gonna take that. Okay, you are nearly there. I'm going to give you Lightning Strike and Jolly Roger. I'm working on it, man. I'm going to get that uh, stuff I want. Master Strike for you. You hit hard. You hit like a truck. A very scary truck. All right, now we can give you that campaign movement. I'd rather give you like... Well, you're getting plus 18, I suppose. Yeah, take Top Gallant Royal. You'll take that. We're about to be ready for a new army then. I've been waiting. All right, let's go recruit another leader. As long as they're at a decent level. Plunderer, sure. I like the one guy just like kind of named Jem. Eh, he's just Jem. Don't mind Jem. Okay. Well, you know, Mad Dog, you're going to be my Admiral. That's going to give you more physical resistance. I'll be able to... Oh, there'll be an even higher level. Yeah, that'll be great. You'll get Frenzy. All right, Vinny, you're going to be my fleet engineer. We've got only three more to fill out. Then we're good. Fleet captain reporting. Oh, that's not too bad. Aim for their my research rate's going up, Fucking which is good because I have a lot of technology left. That's why, like, a longer game is, like, really, I think, intended because yeah, you got a lot of stuff out there, man. I'll give you kidnapping. Sure. Wait for dust. She's done a great job putting coves all over the world. She's all about that. All right, I'm going to give you tree and noose. Or sort of old ones. I'm going to give you a little garrison later, but we're not fully corrupted, so that will mitigate some of those issues. All right, so we've conquered two locations now. When you actually look at how quickly we're moving, even though we're, like, manually fighting out fights, we're actually doing incredibly well, which is why, like, even if we were to do some type of, like, domination thing, with like certain types of goals, we're gonna be able to do it pretty fast because of all of my benefits. So now it's not like we have to wait turns and turns and turns in order to win a war. Now we can just get in there, fight really, really hard, then move away for later. It's all a very good time for everyone, except for the high elves right now. Lothern still can't come down. I mean, even if they could, they're fighting so many other factions. If Ulthuan can't even get to me now, imagine how that is in like a Mortal Empires campaign when you can't reach the other side of the world easily. The AI hardly ever does that. Oh, God. Confederation, Order of Loremasters, and Tor Elisor. Alright, Luther's gonna come down. I'm gonna get him to go after that major location. Mad Dog Marty, we're gonna bring you down too. A Skull Reef. Ooh. Destan, have I beaten you? I thought I beat you. I must have. Yeah. I believe I did. I did. I remember now. I sure did. Oh, you can't reach him? That's really funny. Alright, you'll be there one turn. Let's get you to get that real quick. A Sky Cell for more campaign movement. I'm gonna go get another leader. Level 9 now. Even better.
All right, Jim. I'm gonna make you. Let's have a look. It's more leadership. That's very nice. Attrition goes down. That's very nice too. Let's go get a fleet gunnery master. Jim, the fleet gunnery master. I've got only two more to fill up now. Then everyone's gonna have a huge benefit. We're just gonna be a super rampaging army. Look at my army right now. Yeah, we're pretty much there. An unknown quantity. All right, I'm gonna give you wild eyed. If you wanna hit more in combat, you can do it. Yeah, he's one turn away. There's a bunch of tomb kings down here that I could fight or I could ignore them. I'll probably have like Mad Dog Marty actually circle around while I go back up north. I'll probably fight through Itza. We'll probably do that. Fight through, come over here. So we'll probably, yeah, that's what we'll do. Okay, so here's my plan of operations. We conquer what's over here. Wait, I need my painting tool. Conquer through over here. Mad Dog Marty or Luther is gonna move down and go all the way around. We could also fight the Tomb Kings while we're down here. It depends on who they're allied to. Oh, there's another one over here. So actually, Mad Dog Marty will probably come over here too to finish out that province. It'll take time to get all the public order that we need, but that'll help out. Had I known that we were gonna do this, I was gonna actually just establish coves early on all over here to get a lot of corruption going. Because if that happened, then when I conquered, it would take me long to actually heal up to uh, keep on moving. All right, so I can't take too much right now. I don't have the money for it. You'll be there in one turn. Mad Dog Marty's moving too. Let's end our turn now. I've done enough discussing. We just now need to get into battle. I'm at 6k for income. We need a lot more than what I have right now. That will come in time. Still technology. Oh, you did it. You learned about all the old shit that I use on the <laughs> bottom of the sea. <laughs> no, we don't really have a lot of technology. It's just a lot of magic. A lot of fucking magic, man. Okay, so we're going to push through. I know his armies are like all spread out because he's got like lands all over, but yeah, we'll conquer a little bit of Lustrio. technology that's rude oh bones mcdonald all right let's go grab another leader it's costing me some money but long term we're gonna have benefits out the wazoo so if i ever need to bring up a new leader guess what they're already level nine they're okay all bones on deck, all bones on deck huh all right what am i gonna make you fleet selling admiral i'm gonna make you a fleet warrant admiral there we go I could always change it up too later. I don't need to, but I could. All right, Luther, let's go over into that town. We're gonna auto resolve it. No one was completely wiped out. Good, it was only a minor location. I could take all that money. It is a decent amount of money, not 28K. But now we're gonna occupy it. It's probably a tier three, yep. That's what happens though, whenever you do that, it goes down to tier like that, but keep the public order for now. I suppose I will need to conquer through the Tomb Kings. Yeah. Because if I don't, Holy Court is going to be a bitch to deal with. Could have like one army wait up here for now, or at least slowly move through their lands. That's another option. Probably a decent one. Okay, so while we're here. Yeah. Four. I want actually three of these, so that'll take a little while for us to take over that location. But it's a pretty tough fight. His army's not nearly as powerful as my other one, so we're going to do that for him. Luther's now level 39. Here's your taunt. There's something to be said for whipping the foe into a frenzy before the fight is joined. Then we'll give him tenacity. Unfortunately, he won't have horn swagger, which is a hilarious word. Finally, cannons. Take that. You got the money for it. We can upgrade whatever. We got the money. Upgrade that too. Headhunters jungle. Take your little garrison. Take that. Penalty goes down for the lack of corruption. That'll help out. Over here's more corruption. Over here is an expanded wall that we'll need. And I'm going to use that now just because we could use the public order. It's going to help me conquer. There we are. All right. It'll take time, but we're going to get that corruption up. Don't you worry, honey. 
Okay, Maggie Black Cell. Here's another one. No, I'm gonna bring you down. I'm gonna save up my money for now. We're gonna bring you down. It's time again. Let's end our turn. So we took over a major capital that once belonged to our good buddy. If I had that mod that allowed me to like restore factions, I would probably get Loki or Felhart back just to let him take over. So if you look at it, we finally began to expand. Nagarath has now joined Lothurn. Right of Awakening performed confederation between Nagaron and another Jerky faction. Lothurn grows in power. I'm the only dominant power when it comes to the pirate captains. Everyone else is not doing that well. Oh, I think I saw that Henry was actually a dominant power too. It'll be interesting to like pass time, have peace treaties, and then see who's like the major powers on their own lands. Oh, what's over here? Keep it. Upkeep. Okay. All oh, right, right. The sword hungers. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna keep it for now. The damage goes up. I couldn't see myself parting ways with it, even if I need to fight the world. <laughs> Which I just may do that. Come on down, buddy. Oh, my deck gunners. How oh, rude. Took over that location, gambler's armor. I can give something to one of you. Right? All right, I'm going to get my deck gunners back. I want my damn deck gunners. There we go. Level 13. What am I going to give you, pal? You got Jolly Roger now. Money just keeps shooting up. What do you have over here? What do we want? Upkeep goes down by 5%. That'll help out. We'll take that. Alright. What about you, lady? Wendy Sea Legs. I'm going to give you Curse of Years. That'll do it. No people are mad at me. Kind of don't give a shit. I'm Luther Harkin, baby. Okay, I've got to conquer some neighbors. You got two more turns until you build up all of your uh, stuff to be able to siege at one location. We're probably going to burn it down, though, for now. Let Itza have it if they want. Or I conquer it and go after Itza. I could just end up like... Oh, I guess I could. That would provide kind of a challenge. I guess we could do that. Just fight everyone in Lestria. That means I need more money, especially with my Sword of Cain getting kind of crazy on, on me. Yeah, get that up. The Fortress of Dawn. Look at that. They were able to counter my corruption, unfortunately, but at least it's got like some corruption here already. I did some work, right? Giant Feeding Cavern. All right, I haven't actually gotten a Death Streak Terror Guy, so I'm going to put that into my other army. That's how much variety we have, man. I just, like, I can't get it all. Instrument's not really as important right now, so we're gonna wait on that one. Trusty Monford, you're not ready yet. You got uh, two more turns to go. You only have mortars, though you can afford more. You can't have every army using like the most elite stuff ever, but let me go look at my pirate cove, especially as my trade income will probably go down. I'm sure other factions might find me. Lothurn's even more powerful. Maybe I should have gone after Lothurn, right? No, Teclis is actually really powerful too. They keep stealing my technology. That's pretty rude. Would you stop? So right now, I think the High Elves are going to be my dominant enemy. Things are going down a little bit, but a lot of factions do like me still, which is nice. I like that. I need them to like me. Though, I think only the elves would really worry about the Sword of Cain. I don't think, like, any other faction would give a shit about it. <laughs> I'm sure, like, the Druki and the High Elves would even potentially unite over that bullshit. They would be like, hold on. <laughs> hold up. Then they would... Ooh, here we go. Amanar rises. Up here. Van Guy's Revenge. It's a very powerful ability. Can't wait to have it. And no one's really coming up there, so... Yeah. If anyone moved in, they would lose a lot. Oh, look who's over here. Taladin, you're still alive. I think you were the one who began that initial foray into our lands. 
which caused you guys to destroy Lokir Felhart, which I'm pretty mad about. I like Lokir. I did like Lokir. Alright. I think we're good for right now. I think we did a lot. I got a lot done. So, I think what we're going to do, we're going to begin to move him out very soon. I'm going to go ahead and lower your upkeep further. We're getting a lot of growth per turn, which is fantastic. That's going to help out a lot. Plus, it adds in more corruption that we need. Over here, we can begin to fight the Tomb Kings, which is what we're going to do. Over here, upgrade that to Tier 3. We can take that. And I'm going to go take another Lord because we need to fill out every office I have. I don't need you taking all my money. But I do want you to pop in. Now we're all moving much further. We all have more of a line of sight too. Okay, everyone. We're going to call it here for now. I mean, that was a pretty good run of it. We already took over a lot of land. Let me know what you would like to see me do. I mean, here's your chance here. If you want me to change up anything, if you have any input for me, anything you don't like. I mean, everyone has like their own points of view, but read down the comments below. If more people upvote a comment, I know what people are thinking and all that, and it helps me out. So if you want me to keep on going, let me know. Our goal right now is to go after Techless, then we can talk about if we'll keep on going after that. That's how we'll do it now that we've already beaten the storyline. And later, we should have a quest battle up, which will be cool. All right, until then.